it's Boxing Day 2018. Uh, I've just found some coral bleaching down on the top of the reef. I don't have the stuff that I really need to do the survey, but I've got an underwater camera and I've got a coral health card. So I'm going to do my best, but I'll just take the first set of records in a moment. What a shame. So what happened was I hadn't come to do a coral survey. I'd come to do some tree planting along the back of the main Honu nesting beach and to do um, a Honu track counts. And it was so hot today that I came in for a quick dip and I saw those corals, white tips. And what happens with these corals is that the bleaching tends to start at the tip and then works inward. So I don't have a thermometer with me today because as I said I hadn't planned on doing coral surveys. This was the area I was going to come and do a survey of corals anyway. You have to do at least 20 uh, samples for one survey. You've got the finger corals I was going to come and do the training for the coral watch just in case bleaching happened and here we are lo and behold and it's happened I thought it's important just to get the very first evidence of what's going on it's the ultraviolet that's caused the problem these other corals are still okay So bleaching certainly seems to be a bit patchy at the moment, but it's spreading, that's for sure. Quite hard work doing the coral survey today. Water visibility is good, water temperature is 30 Celsius. I just found this coral fragment broken off on the reef top. I've just done survey BLV 12. It's the 11th of January 2019. So I brought this in because when I turned it over, you can see what's happening with the bleaching. And uh, maybe E4, something like that would be the, the more natural colour of the bit that's still okay. They do change colour when you bring them out of the water unfortunately but you can get the idea. Anyway I thought it was interesting. noticeably worse
so you can see that those ones before they were much browner Water temperature is still 32. 